Hey everybody, Charlie and 2 here and welcome back to Starfield. We last left off, we finally made it to Percival to give him the cell samples for the Terramorph. I'm just going to head inside his lab slash hideaway here and hopefully he'll be able to analyze them. He was a red devil. Gonna ask you to not touch anything. Got some projects in the works down here. I wasn't expecting guests. I mean, I'm gonna steal all of your stuff. You know oh, this, right? And Lou mentioned how you took care of the dead. Can't say I'm thrilled the Trade Authority got their mitts on the research, but I guess that's the price you pay not to live in a cave the rest of your days. Okay. You gonna you gonna do something? All queued up. Let's gaze into this abyss, shall what we? What is this? Is this like a All right. hilt of a Just weapon? Just get those cellular markers tagged. What? Wait. Where are the markers? This... This can't be right. This sample... It's... Londinian. Does that I'll, mean... I'll need to get this all in the slate. Adrian really gave you this sample. What's Londinian? You're not lying to me. Because if you told me this was a hoax... And it'd be the best damn fake I've ever seen. I'd be mad and very, very relieved. Sample's not faked. I collected it from the Terramorph myself. Can't just humor an old man, huh? Nope. This sample, it's got all the indicators of the worst Terramorph attack in human history. I presume you've heard of Londinian. I believe there was a journal article describing the Terramorph attacks there, a real loss. That's putting it mildly. The swarms are so bad... They had to blow the spaceport and seal the place off from the galaxy at large. Not a lot of samples made it off the world from the time of the attack. But the ones that did, well, they looked just like this one. I didn't detect any of the telltale signatures this specimen ever sat on a ship while it was alive, either. I don't think it was transported to Talzetti. This specimen, it grew there. Faster than any Terramorph should. Which means... If we're about to start a new era in human terramorph relations, where big, sudden Londinian-style attacks can happen outside Londinian, that's not going to end well for humanity. So you lugged this bad omen all the way here. You want to tell me what your plans are for it now? So, perhaps, upon seeing what we did to our planet, Earth, which is just a waste planet now. Maybe the Terramorphs are some other being's solutions to the human infestation. For lack of a better term. Or infection. Maybe they're antibodies. Orders are to take you and that analysis to Hadrian. She should be waiting at the Sixth Circle. Get your boots on. We're going to stop any more attacks before they start. We're leaving. Try not to slow me down. But you said the Londinian attack was massive, right? Why is one odd Terramorph so scary? To, because until now, the Terramorphs that wiped out Londinian had the good sense to stay put. What happened there? It was a tragedy. But at least it was contained. So to find evidence for a similar attack on a different world, well, we don't have enough information to know precisely what this means. But I doubt it's good. So I'd love to know what it is you're planning from here. Why would I have the plan? You give me the plan, scientist man. Orders are to take you to the sixth circle. The circle, huh? Could use a drink about now. Here, faster we take the lift to the surface. Not supposed to use it, but given the circumstances, I'm inclined to just ask forgiveness. Let's get going. All right, so you're, you're like with me now. Where's the lift? Lift's over there. Where is all your free stuff? I want your free stuff. Not seeing anything that looks like it's worth grabbing. Whoop. Research. Can't go through secure access. I, th I feel like we're going to be back here or some other type of mission that involves combat. It's definitely what it feels like. Anything in here? 
Oh, no, 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 no. We didn't need to do that. This is where we came from. Londinian. I don't know quite what he means by that. Like, does it say share similar biology to that breed of Terramorph? Is that what he's referring to? Or is the style that it attacked Londinian? But he didn't recognize that until he looked at the cells under a microscope. So it must be something to do with, like, the DNA slash breed or whatever of that particular type of Terramorph. You really don't have anything. Here's something. Helmet. Take it. Is that all you got for me, old man? What else? Do we need these? Are these the wires we need? They are not. Trash. Yeah, have you been, like, incinerating your trash here? Like, how have you been taking care of all this stuff? Oh, there's something. There you go, just straight credits. We'll take those. Sure, we'll take the elevator. One you said we're not supposed to take, but clearly we'll have an exit somewhere that would be very obvious. Like this, with a landing pad and everything. This will definitely be a place that we come back to. Can we just warp to here? Maybe? No, that taught us, took us back to the ship for some reason. I thought we were warping to the nav point here, but that's not the case. Alright, let's run. Get rid of all of our oxygen. in the jetpack. Alright, so that'll load. We'll go to the bar and hopefully we'll be done with Sidonia for a while. Put mine going somewhere else. Found a clutch of heat leeches. Oh, we need to do her uh, place to sensor. Is this faster than jumping down? I don't know. Weightlifting has a thing. Is is that really her? It's Hadrian. Percival. My God, look at you. You're an old man now. <laughs> you know, hassling yourself anymore, Major. Our friend here showed me your sample. Suffice it to say. Not here. Let's talk somewhere more private. Lou said we could use the back. He's still just leaning against the side there. What is that? Eels? We're right beside Lou a gave me the abridged version of what went down. Yeah, I can't thank you enough for taking care of all that. Makes two of us. I hope it ultimately didn't end up being too much trouble. A little more gunfire than I usually like on my delivery jobs, but nothing I couldn't manage. Too much trouble is exactly how I'd describe the experience I just had. That's definitely not what I thought I was signing you up for. But thank you. So... Were you two able to get that work up together? Got it right here. That sample? It's an exact match for the ones from Londinian. Londinian? That's... That's exactly what I was afraid of. Not thrilled to be the bearer of that kind of news. That's for damn sure. So tell me you've got some kind of plan for that work up. Well, right now, we've got more questions than answers. So I've been trying to figure out what it's going to take to access our old Terramorph data. Good place to start. What'd you find? 
It's in the archives. The Armistice Archives? Doesn't that mean we'd be dealing with the Cabinet? And the Free Star Collective? And House Varun somehow? Guess we can kiss that approach goodbye. I didn't think the Cabinet would be willing to hear us out either. But I called in some favors. They've agreed to hear us out on two conditions. One, they want to see this analysis you two have procured. And two, they want to discuss what happened on Tau Ceti with both of us. Okay. If you need someone to charm higher up, so I'm your gal. Not really. It doesn't sound like any of the mill data you're after. I think you owe me an explanation. What's the Armistice Archives, and what does it have to do with Freestar and House Faroon? Well, when the Colony War came to a close 19 years ago with the signing of the Armistice, three factions were involved in the negotiations. The UC, Freestar, and House Faroon. They made a lot of decisions about what sort of tactics should and shouldn't be permitted in future conflicts. All information related to the things they decided should be banned was locked away in the archives. Now, it's possible to get things out of there, but only with the agreement of members from all three factions. And as to what our research is doing in there, well, I'll it's get to Zeno that. It's weapons, I know. Uh, the cabinet, what's that? The cabinet's the UC's highest governing body. The president, top military brass, scientific and diplomatic division heads. Any major decision the UC makes goes through them. They're the only real chance we've got of unlocking the archives. So without their blessing, we're flying blind. I need an explanation. Of course. You deserve the full story. Percival and I, we're not just researchers. We were military scientists. Ran a division of the UC together that deployed aliens on the battlefield as weapons. Place I was hiding out. That was our unit's home base. After some early fits and starts at other facilities, the place eventually became the heart of UC Xeno warfare. A practice that's been banned ever since the armistice went into effect almost 20 years ago. And the UC military cut us loose for what we'd done. I actually know who you are and your past. Well, that's none of my concern. Still doesn't explain what this Terramorph data is doing in the archives. Well, it was during that assignment that the UC asked us to explore deploying Terramorphs on the battlefield. The project never got off the ground, but the data our team gathered is now sitting in the archives, along with all the other information banned after the Colony War. Under the watchful eye of monitors from all the galactic factions still participating in regular politics. But if we can convince the cabinet to help us access that data, it'll give us the tools we need to decipher what exactly this sample might mean. And hopefully, how to prevent more attacks like the one that spawned it. Uh, not thrilled about you keeping information from me, but I guess I can help you. Uh, why wouldn't they agree to help us? Why should I trust you with this data? How I know it's not dangerous. Because the Terramorph project was doomed from the start. Terramorphs are too mean, too smart, too hungry to be used in combat. Trust us, we tried. The data that's in the archives, it's historical write-ups, anatomical notation, food chain analyses. I doubt they would have even classified it if it didn't have a Xeno Warfare logo on it. You have my word. It's not a threat. But you can use them at weapons, as weapons. Just because you can't control them doesn't mean you can't put them in like a cargo ship and then like land that ship on a planet and just release them and then destroy everything on the planet why wouldn't the cabinet agree to help us i mean i hope they will given the evidence we've acquired but getting the free star collective and house varoon on our side that won't be easy since neither group is exactly on great terms with the uc at the moment for various reasons how do we Exactly. Prove our data is it's legit, It's going though. to mean negotiations and deals and plenty of diplomatic legwork to see this through. But I don't see a better option to solving what's going on here. So it's going to be up to us to get them on board. All right, let's go. All right. I'm going to go get this work up into the cabinet's hands. I'll meet you out front of Mast in New Atlantis. Good luck. You two are going to need it. Um, no 
money. No money. Okay. So let's do... I'm not going to do eyewitness right now. Let's do bounty that got away. Place the sensor. Not a lot of folks would have stuck their necks out for a stranger. Nope, wouldn't have. Let's go place this sensor. We're decent at jet padding, jet packing, so it shouldn't be too bad. And through here. So she said we got to place this on top of like a spire or something. It's over that way. She said we will need a boost pack. I see. Way is it? Is that the launch pad? Can I fast travel? Doesn't look like it. But we can run. So, after playing a bit of this, I do vastly prefer the handcrafted maps of Skyrim, Oblivion, Morrowind, and the Fallout series to these largely barren, vaguely mountainous planets that don't seem to really have much in the way of features other than... Oh, we gotta run with this to increase our weight load. Other than just a spattering of, like, points of interest. It's pretty bland. But, maybe it'll get more interesting. Now, the missions... They've been fun so far, and very interesting. The dungeons are fun. Outfitting a ship is cool. Modifying weapons, I enjoy that. We'll have to see the outpost thing at some point. I want a cargo ship. I want a ship that holds thousands and thousands and thousands of cargo. I should have sold my weapons. I forgot to do that. We'll go place this and then we'll warp back to our ship and then place all that excess stuff we want to sell into our ship. We're going without a companion for a bit until we can get our stealth up some and then we'll go back to having a companion. I do want to see like all of the comments that a companion can make during certain situations. Okay, so we gotta climb to the top of this. Let's get our boost back. So we need to get to the very top. This is just a climbing mission then, huh? Um, what's the best way to try to sneak up here? She said we could do it with a booster somehow. I don't rightly see how. Okay, how do we get up to the next level? There's one there. So, let's jump here. Jump. get up to here oh. this looks like step here okay kind of getting there to here
to here. I uh, can't go up this side anymore. I mean, I guess you could if you got on those rafters, but it seems easier just to boost up this side. So we do this. Alright, so it's up there that we need to be. Can make it up to this one, I'm pretty sure. Yep. Just jump to this. Hey, there's stuff up here. Weapon. Modified Grendel. That's not that great. These are cartridges. We'll take that. Okay, let's place it. Return to the agent. Sidonia, there we go. Now we can fast travel to it. Let's give her her report that we placed the tracker. And then let's head back to New Atlantis. We should probably sell these weapons while we're in here to our, our friend, Dennis. Try to get some money so I can get a cargo ship. Now, we do have all of these cool upgrades to our current ship. I don't know if that was a waste of money or not. Can we sell Cars the old ones? Hello. You help me with this? And I see a bright future in the Trackers Alliance for you. I want you to be my companion. Careful placing that sensor. I've only got the one. I placed the sensor. Good. I'm already getting readings from it. Nothing yet, but when he shows, we'll get him. Here's your pay. Think of it as your cut of the bounty for your assistance. Ooh, 2,500. That's not bad. You have anything else? Our target's as good as dead now. How that sensor work out for you? We did. Soon after you left, the signal pinged. Soon as it did, I sent word to my fellow tracker, and he made a move on our guy. And on top of that, we bagged another wanted criminal. Turns out our guy was using the launch pad as a rendezvous point to traffic illicit goods, including human organs and worse. We caught the buyer as well, thanks to you. Uh, you did that in the span of like two seconds? Uh, what's the Tracker's Alliance? Oh, darling. We're the baddest bounty hunters in the settled systems. People pay us to find criminals, scum, and other low lives when they don't want to or can't track them down themselves. Got any good stories? Ooh, should I tell you? Ah, uh, what the hell. It got me in trouble, but it's a good story. So, I got a bounty for this guy. Real tough spacer, you know? I find a ship board without him knowing and I literally catch him with his pants down getting ready for the day or something I don't know anyway before he can react I tackle him to the ground to cuff him and he lets off a sly quip thinking he's got game but I don't take kindly to that kind of advance see and well bounty says alive or dead so I make the call and I put him down anyway turns out it wasn't the right guy but this guy was also Wanted. What are the odds, right? Well, the Alliance didn't think it was as funny as I did, so now I'm stuck here helping new recruits. Looking for work. So, you're fixing to take yourself on a little bounty hunt. Well, look no further than the Broken Spear. The Trackers Alliance posts jobs on the mission board over there. Big old console. Can't miss it. Now, look. Much as I'm itching to get back out there and take down wanted marks on my own, I can't help you any more than that. So, don't come crying to me if you can't hack it, you hear? More about mission boards? Huh. Yeah, well, see ya. Huh. Wait a minute, the broken spear is right over here, right? Yes. Hey, it's my personal slave now. Tracker's Thanks. Thanks. So this is the Radiant quest, right? These mission boards are, are, these are just generated quests that are infinite. 
I uh, wonder if we gain rep, though, by doing these. Tracker's Alliance self-service bounty clearance kiosk. If you have a bounty with anyone in the settled systems, don't worry. For a small convenience fee, we can clear that up for you. Our records indicate you are not wanted. Please visit us again. Because this is to clear it. This is the mission board. Destroy the Crimson, Crimson Fleet Ghost. Fleet Ghost. Delivers heat sinks. Transport miners. Supply chlorine. Survey Piazza 1 in Piazza. Destroy the Crimson Fleet Ghost. What is a Crimson Fleet Ghost? I like that. We're going to accept that one. And we got credits just from doing that. So, whoops, I'm about to break my mic stand here. Make sure I'm still recording. <laughs> uh, hit the wrong button. I wanted to come here. I want to add a point to stealth, but we need to do one sneak attack. So I think I'm going to bank it. Can we do boost pack yet? Nope, we need to boost in combat, combat more. Can't do security yet. Surveying we could do. Research. Mm, med packs work better, might be good. Geology. Grab dump range of jump drives. I don't know how that works, but hey, it works. This doesn't tell what they do. Uh, ship thrusters. What does that mean we can utilize thrusters? This one says we have 10% damage. Ship targeting functionality. What does that mean? Missile weapons are favored because they can lock on. So this is better lock on. I don't know what that means, increased thrusters, and this is ballistics. Is there a better ship laser thing? Because I definitely want to do that. So I think we'll skip to these two, stick to those two for tech. don't think we need any of these. Ballistic? Nah, I like the lasers. We'll stay with lasers. Any social that we want? Theft. Scavenging. Persuasion. Scavenging might be one chance you'll find extra credits. I mean, credits are always good. More food. Buy for five and sell for more. We're going to do that. I definitely want to do that. That just gives us more credits. So, buy or sell unique, unique items. That's just going to happen on its own. Hopefully the next skill point we can put into that um, that stealth. All right, so now we can go to Mass District. So, so we can try to fight this pirate ship. Let's do that because we've upgraded our weapons. Now we may die instantly. Okay. How's our health? Alright, I think our weapons are pretty good. Oh, there's more people. How do we heal? How do we heal? Right stick. Uh, we're about dead. We're about dead. There's more than just these two. Okay, we are dead. Uh, that's our first death. Do we restart where we were? Um, what did this do? Where are we at? What is the mission? Watch out for the robots. What do you want? You're doing me solid. I placed the sensor. Okay, so it's say good before I'm we already. did that. Here's your pay. Okay, so she says the same things. We come over here. We take a mission. 
destroy the ghost. I want to try that. Now, let's do a quick save. Oh, wait a minute. Shouldn't we have leveled up just now? Why did we level up last time and not this time? Because what did I put a point in? I put a point into... I forgot what I even bought. It was this. Commerce. Oh, she gave us a mission to do that. Hold now, on, we had to talk we, to her. This tracker business suits you, if I say so myself. Looking for work. So, you're... The tracker's... Al now, look. Alright, so now Careful we gotta there. go do the mission. So I guess we'll have two missions from here. Um... Survey. That should do it, right? Did that... Did that not work? Our targets as good as dead now. Is it because I didn't select a mission that was a bounty hunter mission? Alright, well how do I restart? Load. Alright, let's do this. Don't tell me it. Thanks for the assist. Mighty kind of you. Oh no. Oh, darn. People pay us. Mission, Mission boards. Board. Trackers Alliance post. Hey, y'all better not. Sensor. We did. And on top of that, turns out our guy. Bounty hunting stories. So, anyway, but and well, anyway, turn. <laughs> Bye. Hope I never have to kill you. I want my stuff back, my experience. So I don't want to load here. That's like too far back, right? Crap. So now we've lost the level up. Well, let's just try to go the, do the mission again. If we die again, maybe we'll be good. So, destroy. Set course. I don't know why I'm so bad at the space combat. It's this one I need to kill, right? Crimson Fleet Ghost, if I ever saw one. Enemies grab drive out of commission. Okay, did we make it? Can we just warp? <laughs> can we just, uh, we can scan? So, can we go to missions and then just go to eyewitness, set course? And jump. Apparently I'm not. Grab jump offline. Grab jumps offline. So we're dead. Can we escape? I don't they think we can escape. Shield system. I think we're just dead. The combat feels off, the ship combat. Like, there's no six degree of movement. There's just, like, a flying a plane in space. Why did it autosave here? So now I've lost the ability to get that level up. 
we can kill the one. But we can't really escape after that. So I guess we'll have to we'll get, get another bounty bomb. another he bounty hunting mission. When he shows his face. Can I get rid of missions? Like this one. Can I yeah, I can reject it. Keep that one. If we reject it, can we go get it back? No. Hmm. Well, let's go sell our guns. We'll get our level up another way. I guess we just lost that level up. We do need to talk to her and see if she followed through, I guess. Just because Makes the all those dialogue choices right again. You look hey, you buy from me, maybe take a look. Alright, so sell. All and we'll go by value. No. Modified Urban Eagle. We're gonna sell that. Like that's good ballistic. But we're going laser. I think we're just gonna oh no, nope, no, nope, he's only got twelve. We're not selling to you at all. So oh yeah, I guess we could buy from you. But I don't wanna buy from you, I want money. Let's go to this mission. No, not that one. Back. Back. This mission. Um. I want to go to the spaceport. How do you go to the spaceport? The Lodge, Commercial, New Atlantis, Mast. I guess we'll go to Mast. I do notice that our little icon down there keeps changing based on our level ups. Our patch, if you will. Oh, we don't have nearly the gravity that we do, that we did in, uh, or that we didn't have in Mars. All right, we gotta run. Captain, over here. Yes. The workup's in the cabinet's hands. They said they'll call for us once they've gotten to properly review it. But listen, I know I should have been more forthcoming about who I was earlier. So, in the interest of full disclosure, there's one more thing you ought to know before we head up there. My relationship with the UC, it's more complicated than it might seem at first glance. The UC's actually the only reason I'm here in the first place. I am a clone of a man named Francois Sanon, one-time fleet admiral of the UC during the Colony War, former head of the UC Navy. They called him Ve Victus. I remember hearing that. Woe to the defeated in Old Earth Latin, a title he earned. The program I was a part of, it was... The UC's attempt to create a new generation of military minds from one of their most respected tacticians. Secure the leadership of the UC military for generations to come. So... Clones can be of different genders. I didn't know that. More interested in what this has to do with us just the cabinet. I'm getting there. The man I was cloned from, my father, was executed for acts he committed during the war. I know this. The man caused a lot of death on both sides. Freestar Collective and UC. Military and civilians. And the things he did, well, they're a part of the reason the UC and Freestar Collective aren't really on great terms to this day. So my involvement, it could be another obstacle they throw at us up there. 
I just wanted you to be forewarned. You're not your father. Not sure I can blame them. You're using me to distract them. Great. I thought my family's messed up. What'd your father do to merit being executed? He had his men open fire on civilian ships during the Battle of Cheyenne. A battle that he ultimately ended up losing anyway, devastating the UC fleet and bringing the colony war to an ugly end for the UC. But he's also the one who ordered the bombing of the Londinian spaceport during their outbreak, condemning countless lives. Both sides agreed the settled systems would be better without him. Uh, you're not your father. I, I really appreciate you saying that. I just thought you deserved to know, considering how much you've done already. You know, while we've got a second, was there anything else we needed to discuss? I know you got dropped into the middle of this pretty fast. Or, if you've got any last-minute business to attend to, now might be a good time. I'm surprised no that you how guys are even taking me along. Us waiting out here. Uh, Kira... What are the risks of us accessing this data? I strain from the amount of reading I've got on the horizon if we succeed. The Terramore project never went anywhere. It couldn't. They are deadly creatures, but they aren't xenoweapons. The cabinet not opening the archives is probably a bigger risk than them handing over the files. That data itself isn't dangerous. Which probably wouldn't be a bad point for us to bring up, should the opportunity arise. Agreed. What should I say? Well, thinking about it more, I suspect there'd be value in sharing the fact that the Terramorph project was, well, a failure. There's no need to be afraid of this data being weaponized. Knowing that should calm some of the Cabinet's fears and make it easier for us to dispel any suspicions the other factions might have about our intentions. Your eyes, they're red. Is that a result of the cloning process? That's actually a souvenir from my time on Mars. The Red Devils unit I was a part of, they were founded by recruits who'd worked some of Mars' deepest mines. Folks used to adversity. The dust at those depths, it seeps into everything. The human eye included. Where the name Red Devils came from in the first place. Okay, makes sense. It became an unwritten rite of passage that anyone wanting to enlist with the Devils had to do a stint in the mind before they could join up. The Devils were always talked about in such revered tones during my training, so as soon as I was old enough, I signed up. And the eyes were my parting gift. About your father? I mean, we never spent a lot of time together. He was too busy being fleet admiral to deal with kids. I was raised by a pair of guardians instead. Until his defeat during the colony war, though, he was known as an extremely effective commander. Savvy. Perceptive. That mind opened a lot of doors for him. And for me, too. But Ve Victus, for all his ability, was heartless. Ruthless to a fault. In the end, that's what cost him his life. Let's go. Then I guess it's just a matter of... The cabinet meeting is about to begin. All parties, please proceed to the cabinet chambers. Sounds like our cue. Come on. Ah, Captain. Congratulations on joining the ranks of the Vanguard. Thank you. Cabinet chambers. I'm gonna Phoenix write this up. I figured we'd have like a little. Ah, welcome. Tribe. You like must this. be the captain Hadrian mentioned in her report. You have our thanks for the risks you faced in securing this information. Adrian made it clear that addressing this issue required the utmost urgency. Just following orders. Thanks, don't get my, keep my ship fueled. I'm just following orders. Well, I'll be sure your commanding officer hears that you've done them satisfactorily. Now then, 
We have two petitioners here making a surprising request. Access to the UC Xeno Warfare team's Terramorph data, currently housed in the Armistice archives. A request which will require not just this body's agreement, but that of all three Armistice signatories. UC, Freestar Collective, and House Varun. Yeah, we gotta convince you now, all. Now, Captain, we've all read Hadrian's report on the subject, but we have yet to hear from you. Perhaps you could summarize for the Cabinet what it is you see as the goal of this endeavor. Still trying to figure out what we're facing. We can't make an informed decision without data. That's true. We need the archival data to find a way to stop a possible Terramorph apocalypse. I'm just here to talk about what happened. Hadrian's the one with the grand plans. Remind me what's kept in these archives? Still trying to figure out what we're facing. We can't make an informed decision without data. Hmm. That is something to consider. Though we also have to take into account the nature of the data you require. Madam President, I object to the very premise of this meeting. While no one would argue that what happened on Tau Ceti was anything less than a tragedy, Terramorph attacks are not some sudden new threat on the horizon. They've been happening for generations. To demand, we hand over banned archival knowledge and possibly upset the balance of galactic diplomacy because of a single attack. Seems at best panic. And at worst, a power grab by the daughter of a bloodthirsty warmonger and her associates. I would remind the chief diplomat who he's speaking to. If it's my father you're looking to address, you're welcome to consult a medium. I would also ask, how many deaths the cabinet requires to act? 50? 50,000? Because if tragedies like Tau Ceti are just prelude to more attacks, I have no doubt you'll get the body count you require. Let's keep this civil, shall we? And while there should be no doubt, the preservation of life stands paramount among this body's duties. Chief Essene has a point. Will a single attack, however troubling, be sufficient to convince the other factions to grant us access to what they no doubt consider weapon data? I don't think it's enough. Perhaps you can help, Captain. As the one who actually collected the sample in question, did this Terramorph seem at all alarming to you? Did the Terramorph seem alarming? Ooh, Xenobiologist is going to come in. Standard Terramorph should never been on Tal Seti. We'd be facing a true threat here. I didn't realize the captain was such an expert. I am an expert. But it's a compelling point, Madam President. What is on your face? A Terramorph doesn't care about factional boundaries. And as the captain says, we can say definitively this is no normal Terramorph. The other factions are as at risk as we are. A compelling point, indeed. So then, Captain... Given the discussion now and the information you've been privy to thus far, if you were in our position, would you grant the request made to open the archives? Yes, doing nothing with even the limited knowledge we have would be irresponsible. Man, Xenobiologist I'm coming in clutch. Agree. As am I. Uh, I suppose that does get to the heart of the point, doesn't it? Hey, I convinced Very you. Very well. I consent. The galaxy was lucky you were here today, Captain. You and I are in agreement, Chief Diplomat. So, if there are no other objections, I believe we can agree to give our full backing to make the request to... <gasps> what was that? Terramorphs. Incident? Chief Sarkin, what's happening? There's been an attack. At the spaceport. Terramorphs. Terramorphs. More attacks. Just as predicted. Good God. There. There must be another explanation. The, the creatures evaded our scanner somehow. There will be plenty of time for conjecture later. Chief Sarkin, order the evacuation of the spaceport and have your men contain the things, but do it discreetly. The last thing we need is a citywide panic. Yes, ma'am. Admiral Logan, the local barracks can provide support? I'll make the order myself. Nearest anti Xeno squad, though, is off world. It's going to take a while to bring them in. Well, then, we'll have to make do with the tools we've got. Are you trying to look you over two. there towards me? We can't risk those things getting out of the spaceport. I want you both on the next train there. 
We'll let them know you're coming and that you've dealt with these things before. Now go show them how it's done. The last time I dealt with these things, we had turrets. Um, it's inaccessible. All right, so guess I'll go fight Terramorphs. I probably shouldn't have sold my. Well, I did sell my really strong gun, did I? Did I? The EM rifle, grab it! Now! That's it. Now Stop. help with everything you've got. We're trying to help you. Hold on. What do I got to do? Where's the EM rifle? I guess I need to put it as a. New items. Weapons. Where's it at? EM rifle. Scout's EM Equinox. Alright, well we can favorite this up top. Okay. And then we can select it. And then we can shoot you guys. Okay, what now? I thought it was Terramorphs, not people punching people. Alright, wait a minute, what do we do? We go here. Oh, you just gotta just need another few shots. Yes. Thank you for what you did. We didn't. We didn't want to hurt them. The way those people were acting, I've seen this before. They were under the Terramorph's influence, weren't they? So it has mind control? I, I don't know. They were down at the port and they just started screaming. We'd tried to restrain them, get them on the train to get them out of harm's way, but. But some of the other officers down there, we couldn't restrain them fast enough. They just started firing on us. People we knew. They went berserk. Fermonic projection. Some Terramorphs, they can induce this fog. It affects everyone differently, but some people just lose control, turn against everyone around them, even if they don't want to. They're like a puppet. You kill the morph, you break the hold. But this means we're going to need to be real careful with our fire and keep that EM weapon at the ready. Sounds like we need Let's to hustle. That's unlocked. Please, do what you can to help them. Okay. Let's do it. Imagine we'll have a lot of humans to fight then, like right off the bat. You guys, all right? No time to waste, Captain. Stash the EM and pull some firepower. Let's go. Stash the EM, she said. Hold on, we'll steal all your med packs. All right, so it looks like we have help in this fight. You oh, there it is. You stand there. No damage. There's another one. There are oh, God. Captain, you're going to be okay. It's not Trying. We 
Which one is going to kill you? Just gonna keep shooting it, I guess. Come on, reload. You will be leaving here alone. Got it. Give me your goods. You are red. You look different than the other one. Oh, experts. We've got the remaining creatures locked down on the landing pad. Barely holding our perimeter. They said you've done this before. Well, one fire team to spare and whatever supplies you need, but I can't risk them taking over any more money. Put those things down and do it fast. We'll hold them as best we can. I'm taking all of this ammo and weapons. Are there any more? Uh, let's do a quick save. Also, what do you gotta say? Heard you might be looking for some backup. You say the word, we're out there on your six. You two have any experience with Terramorphs before? Only the brief they just gave on the way here. But we know how to handle pressure. Surviving a full-on mental assault isn't the same as keeping your cool in a firefight. Might make you more liability than asset. We're not UC security. You don't need to worry about us. Once you watching them back, so you two stay put. I'm sure you're not going to turn on us out there? We're not afraid, but we'll stay here and hold the line if that's what you want. You're the experts. You two stay put. Your call. We're on the line. Huh. Let's check out the weapons we just got. We got... Drumbeat. 11 millimeter. 160. We don't have many rounds. Equinox. This thing might be good. Modified Equinox. Modified Urban Eagle. Scout's EM. Staggering Lawgiver. Tell you what, let's uh, quick save. And let's go do it. Now, I think those. Yeah, I think these icons are probably the ter Terramorphs, so if we can keep them separated, it should be good. Also, can we use, like, mines? How do we do that? We go to... Are they listed? Oh, here we go. Throwables. Frag mines. Favorite you down here. Frag grenade will favorite you here. Try to say somewhat hidden. Is there one just hanging out over there? Because what I'd like to do, staggering modified lawgiver. Yeah, it's right there. It's only a level six. Let's give it a shot. Trust me. We are not. Okay. Once, um, mine. I don't know how to throw the binds, so we'll just equinox it. Hold on. I want to know how to throw the grenades. Settings. Controls. Bindings. Throw grenade. Right button. Okay, so if I do this, that's a mine. It's a mine that got blown up. Check your sense! It's one of them! Let's 
So you're more of like a mental terror if You're not doing like too much direct damage. You are spitting at me though. You, you're alive. You're not gonna leave me here, are you? Uh, can we reload, please? Got this one. Let's take a... Let's do this. Let's do this. Should be just one more. Let's go kill it real quick. End out this episode with completing this mission. Are we over encumbered? We are as well. Alright, we need to drop something. Uh, let's... Sealant, adhesive. Real quick, let's go to all. Let's go to weight. Mass. Let's drop this spacesuit. Okay. Should be one over here. Can we get a sneak attack on it? We probably can. like it's behind those crates so let's go with this no sneak attack for me I guess too far no more grenades one shot? It set you on fire though. Hold on, I need laser damage. I need to kill you with lasers. Okay, we did it. Nice work, Captain. Killed the terramorphs. Give me all the money. That incendiary Grendel did amazing. Versus that. And we saved those guys' lives. Can we have what's on your body? Heart plus? Yep, we'll take that. Are there any more dead people? Doesn't look like it. You there. <sighs> Guess they weren't kidding about you two. The universe put the right people in the right place. Uh, you all held line. Your heroes here, not us. Hmm. Certainly doesn't feel like it. I don't want to think what would have happened if you two hadn't been here. Did your voice just change? Just glad we could rise to the occasion. Captain, we should report back to the president. Let her know the terramorphs have been dealt with. Take care of yourself, Sergeant. All right, we're going to report to the president next episode. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy my content, please consider a like, a comment, and or a subscribe. Stay tuned for the next episode. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.